Stony Brook students are split on whether they're concerned about their internet privacy after a New York Times investigation found that political firm Cambridge Analytica harvested private information from over 87 million Facebook users. Some students found it worrying. They don't exactly let you know that that's what's happening. While others didn't see the big deal. No, it doesn't worry me. I have my information basically everywhere. The problem started when Cambridge University professor Alexander Kogan collected Facebook data from users in 2014, who took a survey he created. He then gave that data to Cambridge Analytica, who used it to target voters and tailor their ads in the 2016 election. He has to be responsible for the data. He had to ask Facebook whether he allowed to share the data with a third party like that. Hoang theorizes that because most applications have lengthy terms of service that most skip, it leaves people vulnerable to agreeing to terms they may have second thoughts about. They're all or nothing. You either say yes or you can't use Facebook. So we kind of say, oh, well, we're, our hands are tied. We need to use Facebook and therefore we need to say yes to use the policy. Education and awareness are some small ways to help a big problem. If more people worry about that, then uh, those big guys, Facebook, even Google, are going to find a good way how to manage our data in a more transparent way. It's more important than ever to keep privacy in check. And educating yourself about what you agree to is the first step in doing that. For Stony Brook News, I'm Taylor Beglane.